Hello, lovely people, and happy June. So today is June 1st. Um, we do start school back on Monday. So this is going to be just kind of like a catch-up video. Um, I am in a different car right now because my car is in the shop <laughs> because it hailed like really bad here um, a few weeks ago. And so pretty much everybody in my neighborhood got hail damage, whether it's on their house, their car, or both. And um, all of us got hail damage. Me, my mom, my sister, pretty much everybody. My mom's roof was damaged because we were at my mom's house, like all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. Um, so right now, I'm in a rental car. Um, it's a Mal Malibu. Yeah, this is a Malibu. I really like it. I mean, it's fine. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's really roomy. I do like the roominess of it, but I don't like the tiny back review mirror, if you can see how small that is. And then the little side panels give you, like, to me, a really bad blind spot. So I don't like that. Um, other than that, overall the car is fine but i don't like the blind spot that it gives me and stuff and i do like the fact that it has a rear view camera especially with this daggone back glass being so tiny it needs a rear view mirror so i mean rear view camera but whatever um and i do like the dash and stuff that's about it but i'm glad i didn't get it because when i went to get my car this is actually the car i went to get so happy i didn't get it but whatever um so yeah so um as far as if you guys watch my Royal Caribbean video you do see I hope you saw that I got engaged on the um cruise so as far as wedding vlogs wedding videos all that type of stuff those are not going to really be coming out until probably like August or September because I want to wait until I finish school to give my full focus on it because I don't want to be stressed out with school and I don't want to be stressed out with like wedding planning. I want to actually enjoy the process. So um, that's pretty much that. I have started looking at venues. So I have been sending out um, emails to get like quotes and prices or whatever so I can make a list of the places that I want to go visit um so i think as of right now i have about four or five places on my list that i want to visit that's not crazy expensive and that's not offering a short like time frame like i had no idea like a lot of these places they charge you like ten thousand dollars and it's only for four hours like your event can only be a total of four hours so that's ceremony and reception four hours not the way my family set up it ain't gonna be no four hours so i was just like yeah i know that's not gonna work but i did find i think at least three places um one of them you can have the place for the entire day um one of them you can have it for 12 hours and then one of them it's like eight hours so i did find um a, a few places that i want to look at and then one of the places my friend that's where she got married at and um hers is all day as well that she had her ceremony at so i'm like okay um the place that i was in love with in love with um which is the bell tower on 34th i think that place is absolutely beautiful but um it's really really expensive you can only have it for four hours um and like they pretty much force you to buy everything through them so like you have to do your catering through them everything so you'll look up and just for the venue you done spent like twenty thousand dollars that is not what i want i want to keep this entire wedding like everything dress included very very cheap because i don't want to go into debt behind a wedding um i have student loans and things to pay off and then uh, we do want a house. I still want to be able to travel. And it's like, if I have a choice out of a nice wedding and a nice honeymoon, I'm picking the nice honeymoon. So that's just my preference. I don't want to go broke behind this. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. School does start back on Monday. So I've already got my books. Um, I've already put my little tabs because two of my professors did tell us at least like the first four chapters we need to read. Have I started reading them? No. Do I plan on start reading them today? Yes. Um, I've enjoyed my break. I'm sorry. Like, I've been tired. I've been doing a lot of sleeping. I've seriously just enjoyed having a freaking 
break. I have not been doing a bunch of reading. I did my tabs. I've organized my backpack. Um, if you want to see another what's in my backpack thing, I'll try to do that between today and tomorrow. Um, because, of course, again, I do have basically a total of three backpacks. I was going to say two. But um, I have, of course, my clinical bag. Um, I have my... I think now it's going to be Monday and Friday bag and then my Thursday bag because my classes are different on those days. So if you want to see that, leave me a like or whatever and I'll try to get that filmed between today and tomorrow. Um, most of my school supplies and stuff are the same, but if you want to see like my books and you know some of the different things that I have, some of the stuff that I'm not taking into level three that I learned from level one and level two that I don't need, I'll definitely... Um, do the video for you guys um i didn't do my how i felt about level two video so i do want to kind of include it in this really quick um so as far as level two how do i feel i feel like level two was freaking stressful um like oh my god it was bad for pretty much everybody we lost a whole bunch of our classmates because a lot of them did fail one or both of well not both but one or two of the classes and you know with nursing school you can only fail two classes and then you're out of the program so we had some of them who I believe they had already failed one class prior and then they failed another class um, in level two and then we have some people who they just failed two classes and then we have some people who failed one and if you fail one class you do not move on to level two you have to wait you have to wait and retake that one class and then you can move on to the next level which means you would not be with your same cohort anymore so you will be like the people who failed with us they will be with the level two people they won't be with us anymore which kind of sucks it really really sucks so um it's like with these people you do you're around them honestly between eight to twelve hours a day so you do become extremely attached to these people and these people kind of become like your family in a way so it's like to not be able to see them every day anymore does kind of suck so um so yeah that's that's the main issue that I have with this semester anyway is losing a lot of people um so for level two for our level two which I did speak with one of the um current level two students their setup is a little bit different so for our level two we had um mental health and um jerry for the first eight weeks and then we had pharmacology and um med surge one for the full 16 weeks so that's how ours was the two classes that just about everybody failed was jerry number one a lot of people failed jerry and mental health those are the two that mostly everybody failed. A few people, to my knowledge, failed farm, but I don't know who all it was. Honestly, I only know the, um, basically, it's, it's about 25 of my, which is still a lot, um, about 25 of my classmates that I talk to kind of normally, like on a regular, and I think I only heard of two of them that didn't make it out of that now i don't know about the rest of them because like i said i don't really talk to the rest of them that often but i'm going by the ones that i do talk to um so yeah that's that's pretty much it like i passed jerry by the hair on my chinny chin chin um i did easy in mental health I loved mental health. Like, I really, really liked it. I've always liked things that dealt with the mental and the psyche. I love mental health. Um, I did well in farm as well as um, message one. So, that was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, give me just a second for running to get my lashes done, and I'll be out in a second. <laughs> and I'm back. So, got them done. I get... um the natural gorgeous scent whatever it's called i get that one because i like when they look natural 
when basically it just looks like I might have on a little bit of mascara, but nothing major. Um, Cause it's like, I like the dramatic lashes, but honestly to me, if you don't, if you don't have on a full face makeup, it looks retarded. And I don't wear a like dramatic full face makeup often like ever. <laughs> like quite honestly, I rarely ever wear um, a full face of makeup. So for me, it looks a little bit weird. Cause like even with school, a lot of times I wear some concealer and powder and that's it. Like I don't really put on a full face of makeup unless um, like I know we're gonna take pictures that day. Sometimes I will for clinicals, but even then it's not like a cake face. It's typically like a light brush of um, foundation and pretty much that's it. But um, yeah, back to school. So, um, we start on Monday. This semester, we will have um, PD or, you know, the babies, um, OB or labor and delivery. We're going to have med search two, and we're going to have leadership and development. The leadership and development class is more to like prep you for interviews and when you get out into the workforce. Um, that type of stuff. It also is supposed to help you prep for um, taking your HESI. So that's pretty much all that is. Of course, you know, PD is children, OB is um, pregnancy or your mom's, and then med surge is continuing with med surge one. So that's all we're doing this semester. For um, this semester, it is 10 weeks, so it's going to be really fast. Dang near every day we're at school um, from, I think it's like 7.30 to 6, pretty much every day, or 7 to 6, sometimes I think it's like 7 to 5, I'm, I'm not sure, honestly, um, but that's what my schedule says anyway, and a lot of times my schedule, it may differ a little bit, but that's, I think that's pretty much what it's going to be. Um, I can't really think of anything else as of right now that's really all the update that i have for you um so yeah thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe any questions down below and i'll definitely try to answer them and i'll see you next time bye